Action! Okay, one more time, I'm going to go a bit closer. I'm Oliver Gwynn. Hi, I'm Matt Major. And we're directing the zombie project for the Whitby location. Whitby called The Last Resort. This is my original idea to start with, but Ollie's kind of had his way with it and made it his own now, really, by the looks of things. It's, a, it's basically the plot is that Whitby's in a quarantine zone. And the zombies are living, well, they're living there. The zombies have been put there. And there's other people in these zone um, which are called carriers that can have the zombie virus, but they don't actually turn into zombies. But are more dangerous because they can dangerous. spread the zombie virus. And the whole thing is that we're a film crew, me, Ollie, Georgina and Rob, right, and we're going into the into the quarantine zone to film the zombies a la documentary style. So it's like a making of a film that we're making in the film. And in the making of the film, we talk about a film that we've made. made. There's other films, yeah. Cause we, we, like, that's our specialisation, the film crew. We go around and make safety videos, survival guides for the general public. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. And welcome to Zombie Survival Guide, Volume 3, Prevention. But you know, this one goes horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> this time... This is the first day of shooting on the zombie project and uh, we've just got a little scene today where the crew arrive in Whitby which is convenient because we've arrived today as well and tomorrow we've got a lot bigger scenes than today but we just want to get this out of the way and get something on tape. We do tomorrow. Yeah. Just get to the point where we're going to get the get the bags out. I think while he's, chasing, he's around town and he's just kind of, oh was that a, no. It's my well, mind. But yeah, we're looking there. forward to it and the filming so far has gone quite well. We just need to get yeah, some actual zombies, zombies on screen now, not in any zombies. <laughs> Yesterday we just filmed the people arriving at the at the cottage, is which is where their their safety zone is, which is out of Whitby, and there was there was just standard van pulling up stuff. And then this morning we've gone out and filmed some zombies out in the Whitby. Some uh, nice location. Nice, too. really nice location. Just quiet, you know, empty shots of just one random <laughs> walking in, which was quite nice. This is a combination of scrumpled up newspaper uh, and tissue paper and kitchen roll inside a tight that we've cut in half and then just put together. And we put that into a bowl and we're going to add some jelly to it and then a mix of food colouring and golden syrup for fake blood later. And that makes an intestine. That causes them to come, doesn't it? Just something I've always wanted to do a zombie film and I don't know, I just pitched it at the thing and then he he's a big fan of the genre as well aren't you everyone loves a zombie film i think what, what are your big inspirations to oh well, george a romeo really and dawn of the dead and all that kind of stuff but i also like is that what you mean stuff like yeah. that. 28 days 28 later 28 days later is going to be the one, one ever the best because we want to use the fast zombies and we like that it's a kind of black comedy twist on the 28 days later zombies isn't it really I'd say that's my main inspiration. That made me want to film a zombie film more than anything, I think. It looks like raw chicken. It looks good. It looks like what we're saying. It looks really good. It looks good. Did you have to do a lot of research into this stuff? You know, just looking on YouTube for videos and just budget horror movie makeup stuff. So, I mean, this is what cost all of like probably a pound and get a gut probably. To drill a hole in its head and uh, smash it to pieces. 
Or punch it off someone's head or knock so it off someone's you head. you push the zombie over and then like stamp, stamp on their head or something like that rather than punch it off. Is there something like that? Like, I bet you have like a balloon so it like really pops and yeah. splats everywhere. Yeah, but if we fill that with blood. Also like, heads don't pop. Yeah, but it would be better shot. Zombie heads do. If you like that, if you actually want it, you get a balloon.